down. And Clemson's not letting up. Alabama, I think, defeated mentally, not just physically. And Trevor Lawrence is saying, if you're not going to tackle, I'll run right over top of you. Now, to me, when Clemson's program changed and went to a different level with 2012, when they played a good LSU team in a bowl game, in a Peach Bowl, and beat them on a last second field goal, from that point on, they've become a different program at a whole different level. I think the next year they won the ACC championship. Giving the veteran backs a chance. Adam Choice and Tavian Feaster are in the game. The other side of this is that Alabama unthinkably has been crushed. Did you ever think you'd see a Nick Saban team beaten down like this in a championship game? I don't think anybody watching right now ever expects an Alabama team to lose 44 to 16. It's a knockout punch. I said at a break, it almost remind, gives you that feeling when, when Mike Tyson lost to Buster Douglas in the way when he went down, you just remembered it because you were so surprised. You know, people thought Clemson could win tonight, but in a potential shootout in a close game, not a blowout. It's Will Sweeney, the coach's son, who came in motion, but Lawrence is just keeping the football. And he's still willing to take a beating to move the six yet again. Again, he, he's 6'6", 215. I mean, he, he, you better tackle him. And, and he's running with some confidence right now. So he's 20 of 32 for 346 Kirk, yards. Kirk Kirkhoff, the line. Yeah, absolutely. How about that? Mitch Hyatt, the senior's 57th start. That's a Clemson record. Big bear hug from Gage Cervenka, who'll be the center next year. Going to have four senior offensive linemen and a very talented, he'll be a sophomore, Jackson Carmen. Those will be the guys in front of Lawrence and all those young playmakers next year. Love how he pulled them off, almost as you said, give him a, give him a curtain call. And now Clemson's going to call a timeout and get as many reserves in as they can. The Tide faithful have headed for the exits. Thems and folks partying 245 away from a title. Ford post game show two minutes and 45 seconds away and what a scene big tough guy Christian Wilkins one of the rare northerners on this team comes to Massachusetts came back hoping for this moment well, that, that's what it's about right there the emotions you make a decision and pass on the NFL to come back and chase a dream with your with your brothers that's what it's about when it's realized great to see Christian Wilkins in this 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 defense and this whole team climb that mountain and win it all. Curtain call for the whole offense as Chase Bryce is in to mop up. Renfro will wrap up his Clemson career on the soft side of a big tough guy. And that is what it's all about. Hey man, careers don't get any better than that. Four ACC titles, two national championships. The Campbell Award is the top scholar athlete at at least a 3.0 in every semester of his college career. By the way, Cool that Chase Bryce gets a chance to finish this game off. Go back to that Syracuse game. We talked about the mayhem moment for Clemson. Cool for him to get some reps here in the national championship after what he did that day against Syracuse. Yeah, it was Lawrence who'd been knocked from the game. They were behind, and it was that 94 yard drive, mostly done on the ground. ETN eventually scored, but Bryce had to deliver a fourth down throw, which you talked about earlier. And you do all the preparation. So you can be ready when your moment arrives. That's part of the football culture at Clemson as well. Yeah, no doubt about it. He stepped in that day. Not a whole lot of people knew much about him, and he stepped up and, and made those plays. You can see Christian Wilkins, man. It, it's almost like a year's worth of emotion that he's letting out right now. The night is Clemson's, but the other side of the coin is Bama's collapse. Couldn't do anything. After halftime as Clemson just added to the lead this drive by the way began at the one yard line So where does Saban and the tide go from here? Two obviously back again. Yeah well, I'm sure they're going to use this as motivation going into the offseason and It's a team that will come back with a lot of key pieces I'm going to tell you they're going to be a lot of teams that are going to study Brent Venable's scheme and what they did in the offseason and not everybody has the talent that Clemson has, but you can come up with some of the, the, the scheme. Brent Venables should get a game ball. We're talking about all these players. Dabo deserves it, but boy, that defense came prepared 
and outplayed Alabama for 60 minutes. There's a reason why Venables makes more than two million a year. And he's showing you that tonight. One more first down. And this will end deep in tied territory with very likely a victory formation and a 55th win for this Clemson senior class. The Tigers reclaim their crown by crushing Alabama. Delirium on the Clemson side as the challengers dethrone the champs. Stunt Bama players humbled tonight here in California. Bama shut out the second half and Clemson just eats up the last 10 minutes. Wow. Let's hear from Babo Sweeney after national championship number two. Tom Rinaldi. Chris, thank you very much. Dabo, there are a few coaches in any sport who show more joy than you do. How do you describe the joy of the moment? 